You guys really have to see the difference this has made. What am I talking about? Let's jump into this together and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of DIY3Dtech.com. In this episode, I want to share this with you. Now, originally, I started this out as a recipe guide for cutting balsa with my Ortura laser. However, what this quickly turned into was more of a discussion of air assist. Now, one of the things, I had a viewer a week or two ago write me and say I was crazy for putting air assist on the ortho, that it provided no value. And I wanted to do this video to really show how wrong that thinking is. So as I was doing the balsa wood video, one of the things I accidentally did was left the air assist off. And I got some really interesting results. So I decided to replicate that failure in more of a controlled setting. So here we go. So you're going to get a twofer out of this. We're going to talk about the value of air assist as well as cutting balsa wood. So with that, what I have here is a piece of two millimeter, just average balsa wood. And I've set up a couple different scenarios. The numbers at the top are the speed per second, millimeters per second, as well as the number of passes. And so you see, I went two millimeters a second, two passes, five millimeters a second, seven passes, five millimeters a second, 10 passes, 10 millimeters a second, 14 passes, and 10 millimeters with 20 passes. Now this top piece where you see all of these cut out, we're done with air assist. Now, I replicated the exact same profile below, only no air assist. One of the big things you notice is up here, every one cut out. Down here, none cut out. And also, look at the charring around the two and two. So again, with air assist, cut out, without not cut out. This is a huge difference, my friends. Now, one of the other pieces I want to talk about is the type of air assist. There's a lot of stuff out there. Now, air assist does really three different things. A one, it moves the smoke out of the way of the laser beam, and this is extremely important for visible light lasers because that can attenuate or reduce the power of the laser beam. Uh, the second thing it does is clears out the curve, so it blows the residue out, which is very important for this because removing that residue helps to get to virgin material to keep cutting because ash is a great insulator, so it won't uh, you know, vaporize like it will when it hits virgin material. The third is, is it snuffs out fires. So three big things that uh, air assist does. Now, the other piece is uh, there's different modalities of air assist. Now, I notice a lot of laser heads coming out where they take the fan and they duck the air through the laser. Now, that's good for clearing out the fumes, but one, it doesn't clear out the curve. So two, it's not that great really to snuff out fires. So what I do is I've got a couple, and I have a link below, designs for air assist where I pump about six PSI directly into the cut. And by doing that, it does all those three things. You know, A, gets the fumes out of the way, B, it clears out the curve from any type of debris, and C, it prevents fires. So with that, you can see. Now, the two for you get here is here's the different cutting scenarios. So all these different scenarios separate the cutouts from the board itself with air assist, none separated. And I can pick it up and, you know, you can see I've, I've cut these out and they're sitting on top. Um, so this is kind of crazy. Even the two by two, you know, charred this a lot. And this is a perfect example. You can see all this charring. Well, that becomes an insulator for the laser and reduces the effectiveness versus the air assist. So it's very important to have an auxiliary air assist with good pressure cleaning out your cuts. And so this really improves the effectiveness. And also, you know, when we start going up, and, and one of the things that's kind of interesting to look at the uncut out to determine, probably 10 by 14 is going to be your cleanest cut where it is going to move the fastest and a greater number of times because that air assist is going to keep cleaning out that curve. And so you're going to get a cleaner cut at the end of the day versus these other ones. And again, when we start getting up to 10 by 20, you know, it's kind of a waste because we know 10 by 14 will cut it out. So what we're doing is we're just burning more of the balsa wood. So again, with a G8 lens, 10 by 14 is a good recipe for two millimeter balsa wood with air assist. Without air assist, your mileage is gonna vary. I have done some tests and it gets kind of crazy to cut this out and it actually gets very frustrating. 
The Air Assist makes a huge difference to the performance of any laser, no matter the wattage. Now, again, this is for cutting out. I want to be very clear because for engraving, you really don't need Air Assist. Uh, per se, except maybe very lightly to clean out the fumes for effectiveness, but uh, Air Assist really comes into play for cutting. So again, below I have some links to some 3D printed um, Air Assist modules that will fit on the Artur and many other diode lasers. And so you can do this. There's also a list down there, the compressors and everything else I use. So feel free to go down there and borrow that. If you got any questions, just hit me up in the comments below. I have run some stuff over here of actually cutting it out so you can kind of see, you know, how this actually works. And then hopefully you found it interesting. So you're going to give it a thumbs up. Swag Shep's up there. Subscribe over there. I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.